We wake up in the morning and the first thing we grab is our phones, checking whose call we missed, the latest post on Instagram and Twitter, wondering what catchy updates to put on our Facebook status, sending WhatsApp messages and the routine continues all day. The smartphone has become our ultimate companion. My phone is like my best friend. I trust my phone than my friend. Research shows that individuals check their smartphones more than 100 times a day. From the office, meetings, and even at church, most people simply cannot live without their smartphones. There's great anxiety and a sense of loss when our phones are not with us. The worst punishment that could ever happen to me was for me to lose my phone. I do nothing apart from my phone when I'm not learning or doing anything serious. It's always me and my phone. I'm always indoors on my phone. So without my phone, here. Yeah. That's bad news. I feel like I'm in the bush because no contact and nobody will call you. Then you feel like people are calling you, they're not getting you. And businesses too are not moving on. It's very painful when you lose your phone. On the streets, some are deeply engrossed in their phones, completely unperturbed about the risks of being knocked down by cars. 46% of adults now own smartphones and the smartphones with their numerous features give us everything we need right in the palm of our hands. Granted, the smartphones make work easy as they give access to news updates and emails anywhere at any time. But spending so much time on phones could reduce productivity at work. People should be matured. I mean, I would evaluate you not because of the number of hours that you spend on your mobile phone. I'm going to evaluate you on your timelines and the status reporting. So the same way I will not be too strict on, on my employees to come to work at 8 and close at 5. I give them the freedom. The same way I give you freedom to use your mobile and your personal you know, handset as you wish. But it should not let you deliver less. If you deliver less, then it means that it is your own problem and you're going to be evaluated on that. Our attachment to our phones sometimes affects our relationships. If I'm married and I'm always stick to my phone, maybe my husband might think I might be cheating, so he might go through my messages, WhatsApp messages and stuff. Quite clearly, the mobile phone has impacted life positively. But the question is, are users spending too much time to the detriment of other important engagements? Mm -hmm.